peoples, this is Michelle from Doris and Stanley and today I wanted to share with you the latest junk journal that I've just recently finished and her name is Bella and she comes in this ballet shoe pump bag and I've got her name embroidered on it there um, because she is a ballet themed journal so I'll just out and show you and here she is she's been made um, following Nick the booksmith's course again so she's a hard cover she's got a slightly curved spine and she's got this lovely raised relief here of a pair of ballet shoes which um, I've highlighted with a copper gilders wax and she's this gorgeous soft pink sort of a ballet shoe colour. She's got a lovely mink, mink binding, seam binding attached there. She's got some tabs here and lots of lace and threads hanging out of the bottom there so she's quite chunky. She measures eight and a quarter by approximately six inches across and has a two and a quarter inch spine and she has approximately 190 sides of pages and I've gone a bit mad again so she's got about 40 tuck spots in there as well I've actually had to stop with the ephemera because she was getting too fat so um, she's quite chunky as it is so let's go inside I've used um, the kit from Artie Mays, her ballet kit and this gorgeous front paper here is from Retro Wall Decor on Etsy and I've also used um, Mrs Cog's Craft the Ballerinas um, kit as well which is all these gorgeous paintings of ballerinas in here so here we go check that she's in frame so I've also made some tags and postcards of my own design as well here's one of them here and all the tags and cards are all backed onto tea dyed paper. All the edges of the paper has been, have been, and cards have been distressed with um, a walnut stain. We've got a library card there, a little flippy pocket there with another tag I've made. And some gorgeous organza here. Here's one of Mrs. Cog's images there. And we've got a, a pattern there for a dance costume book page and a map page. There's only one charm in this book this time and it's this teeny weeny weeny little, I don't know if you can see it, teeny weeny little ballet shoe here and it's actually solid silver and rose gold plated. I thought it was very cute. A lot of the pages have been decorated with lace We've got a dictionary page here with the word ballerina and ballet on it. Some tea dyed lace here. Some tracing paper there, imprinted on. Tracy Fox style. Some gorgeous dancers. And we've got some images from the Graphics Fairy as well. A pocket here. Journaling card in there. Got some stenciling and I've also got some quotes that I've typed out on my typewriter uh, about dancing going throughout the journal as well. An advertisement for a ballet. More stenciling there of a ballerina and another quote. Another tag. Another tuck spot there. And there are six signatures as well. And I've put applique and fabrics throughout as well. I've got a diary page here which has got, um, it's from 1973 and it's got 
a record of somebody's work that they've done for people and how many hours it took them to do them. Another one of Mrs. Cog's images there in the paper bag. Some graph paper. One of my design tags. Some beautiful applique here. <clears throat> another pocket here, vellum pocket. We've got a tag there, it's a double tuck spot. And another tag there. This is a page out of a history book. The other side of the pocket with another one of Mrs. Cog's images there. And one of my own cards. And from the kit. Another stencil. Top spot. Another quote here. Another graph paper on the other side of the pocket with another one of my cards that I've designed myself. doily imprint here from where I've teeth stained the doily on the paper which is really pretty. I think this is really cute, these images of this little girl. As you can see there are quite a lot of tuck spots so I have gone a bit mad. That's another one of my cards and one of my postcards. We've got an old paper clip there envelope with the journaling sheet inside. I've had so much fun making this journal. It's taken me right back to ballet classes when I was a little girl. More images there. And this is a picture of a house that's out of a book I've got of um, from the National Trust in England of all the National Trust houses. So that's a house in England. I love this quote here. Remember Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did but backwards and in high heels. Love that quote. We've got some music paper. And a pocket here with a couple of tuck spots on it. tag there with a, a little tool pocket with a couple of cards in. Really. And then we've got another tuck spot here with one of my cards and this opens out to a little flip out envelope with a tuck spot underneath it as well. And this is cute. This is a uh, An advertisement for tights for nylons from the 50s. Pocket here with another one of Mrs. Cog's paintings and another little pocket on this card here. Some gorgeous applique there as well. And another tuck spot there. Quote and another paper bag. Tuck spot. Tuck spot here. So ephemera in. That's beautiful, that picture. And I've got a large pocket here. Let me card it. Gorgeous picture of some dancers from the 50s. It might be earlier than that actually. The tuck spot there. As you can see, I have gone a bit mad with the tuck spots and pocket spaces. So there's plenty of journaling space. I've got this gorgeous tip in here, this beautiful fabric. Reminds me of Swan Lake, and it's actually got gold thread running through it as well so that's really lovely. Got a little bit of applique on here, some buttons, vintage buttons. 
Now this was meant to be a tuck spot but I stuck it down this side instead of this side so there is something in it but it's a bit awkward to get into. Well, oh, there's not, I've taken it out, there's nothing in there. Another stencil in, another pocket. double tuck spot there, another envelope from the kit, the journaling card in, encyclopedia entry there, another gorgeous image printed on tracing paper there, I love that. Lovely ballerina there. Took spot. And got some beautiful applique here. And we've got a double tuck spot here. And these cards have been fixed together with a brad. And this is a double tuck spot there as well. on that. It's made with holding paper there, that's beautiful. And I love these images as well, they're really old. And tracing paper. And this is a wine bottle label from when my husband used to make his own wine and I pinched his stash of labels that you haven't used. <laughs> Another tuck spot there. And a large pocket here. I love this. This is a, an advertisement for a tutu. Uh, $3.95. Another stencil there. And then we've got the back of the book with another one of these gorgeous printed papers. It looks like fabric and this opens out for more journaling space and this beautiful lace on the pocket there. And then that's the back. So there she is. That's Bella and she's going to be available to buy in my Etsy shop, Doris and Stanley. The link will be below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my little video. And see you soon in the next one. Thank you. Bye.